guys, it's Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and I'm bringing you the weekly reading for November 7th through November 13th. And so, oh my gosh, the year is already winding down. So we're already going through the beginnings of November, and before you know it, it's going to be December, and then New Year's 2017. I actually forgot to um, bring the stone that I've been carrying around uh, for the past couple of days, but um, that's in the house. But it's a stone that I got off of HealingCrystals.com. Um, they have really good prices um, on their stones, and they usually send you like a little free gift, and so they gave me like a little clear quartz um, as a free gift, and they always send like nice little messages, and um, like I said, really good prices, and um, you know, um, responsibly sourced and everything like that. So um, the stone that I was carrying around is a rainbow moonstone. So it's a really pretty, um, you know, it, it kind of looks like a white or opaque, you know, kind of um, stone with a little flecks of black, which I believe are iron um, or mica or, you know, something like that. And um, but when the light catches it just right, it's got that beautiful flash, kind of like Labradorite has. So um, it's beautiful stone and um, gave me some trippy dreams last night. I placed it under my pillow and um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get on with the reading. Um, the cards that I am using today are the Sun and Moon Tarot by Vanessa Decor. And making sure you guys can see that correctly. Here are the backs of the cards, and I'm going to be choosing a card for Monday and Tuesday, one for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday through the weekend. So let's go ahead and give her a little shuffle shuffle. If you would like an individual reading, don't forget to check out the information box below to see my website, to see my Etsy page, and all my social media like my Facebook um, page and Instagram and all that good stuff. So, and if you like this deck then don't forget to ask for it um upon hooking up that reading okay so let's go ahead monday and tuesday let's see what pops out looks like it's taken a little bit longer than usual to get a card to pop oh here we go so we got monday and tuesday okay and then we have wednesday and thursday and I was feeling a little bit lazier, so I didn't bring out my super nice camera. I'm actually just using my cell phone, cell phone today. Um, and it's getting darker sooner, so I thought I might as well get this done because I still have to water the yard and all that good stuff. So it takes me about 45 minutes to get both the front and backyard watered since we have quite a bit of stuff to water. And our avocados are finally starting to produce, so I finally got to have my first avocado sandwich from our Haas Avocados. Um, and I think it's about time to harvest uh, the rest of our avocados. So that's excellent off of our two trees. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at Monday and Tuesday. Ah, we have the sun. Here comes the sun. Um, so here we have these two very happy-go-lucky people um, just with their butterfly wings traipsing through the sunflowers. Um, so it looks like we're starting off Monday and Tuesday on a high note, which um, after all the stuff that's been going on, you know, with Halloween and we've had um, the moon in Scorpio and we've had just all kinds of energy uh, going on, not saying that that's necessarily a bad thing. It's just um, people have been feeling a little overwhelmed, <laughs> you know, the past um week or week or so uh, leading up to Halloween and a couple of days after with Dia de los Muertos and all of that so um, it looks like some of that's gonna start petering out and we might feel a semblance of um, normality as we get into Monday and Tuesday so it looks like we're gonna be starting off nice which is good for me because my 10-year anniversary is on Tuesday so um, looks like it's gonna be a nice and happy time which I am thrilled about okay um, and stay tuned later because our workouts gonna be a little bit different um, in honor of my anniversary okay so let's go Wednesday and Thursday and here we have the Emperor. Okay, so you see him there. Um, and usually the Emperor is, you know, sitting up nice and tall and he, he has his staff and, and, normal, and sometimes he has that stern look on his face. But in this one, um, the guy's got baggy pants, 
Um, he's just pretty chill on his chair. He's got his legs crossed. He's kind of got the world in his hand. And he's like, yeah, we got this. So Wednesday and Thursday, it looks like this is chalking up to be a pretty good week. So we're starting off on a high note, you know, with the sun. So, um, you know, don't, um, I would say don't expect just good things to fall in your lap. Remember that with anything, you guys got to work for things too. You can't just expect everything to happen to you. You know, to take a back seat to your life is, um, you know, taking you out of the driver's seat. And that's a pretty sad thing. You don't want to be a passenger to your own life. So, you know, go out there and physically try to make those good things happen. You know, put good out there, um, put the work out there so that you can get that good in return. So we can get that sun energy. Um, and what a beautiful day it was today. Um, you know, here in San Diego or in California, um, November is some of our, our hottest our hottest time of the year so it gets pretty toasty here in November even though we are in the northern hemisphere okay um, so again put put the work in put the good energy out to get that Sun energy Monday and Tuesday and then not saying you can totally relax but you know just to reflect on what you've done and you can feel pretty chill you know instead of feeling like I could have done this I could have done more um, if you put the work in you have put the honest effort in and you know you've given it everything you've got then you can just kind of look back on the fruits of your labor and be like yeah I did that I created that um, and you know just just soak it all in so that's what I'm getting for Wednesday and Thursday so Friday through the weekend uh, we got these seven of cups so um, you like the the keyword up at the top debauch so um, it looks like these two people um, are in the ocean and they're about to get it on uh, <laughs> with all the cups floating around and and stuff like that so um, with all that good energy that's going on um, with all that um, work that you've been putting in and just kind of soaking in all the good stuff um, now you get to make choices of what you want to do with all that good energy all that positivity um, maybe you want to go spend some time with your partner maybe you want to uh, go out on a few dates maybe you want to go have a wild girls night out or guys night out or whatever it is um, but you get to decide what it is now that you want to do with all that energy and all that positivity that you have created so I'm getting that for Friday through the weekend which is excellent since this weekend or this coming weekend um, that's usually when we celebrate the rest of our anniversary if our anniversary doesn't fall on the weekend so um, during the week you know I'll make my um, Pinoy dinner my Filipino dinner um, since it's one of my jobs for his birthday and our anniversary um, you know so I'll make my my dinner and then um, and then I usually plan some sort of adventure something for us to do some hiking or some place to go drive to or go check out go walk around um, some new place to check out here in, in town um, so that'll be my job for this weekend and so I get to come up with some choices about what it is that we're going to do this weekend which is awesome I usually use an oracle card or as of late a crystal um, to get kind of an overview of energy for the week um, but this time I want to use this book it's called Zibu um, the power of angelic symbology and with this book you kind of use it just like an oracle you kind of flip through and then you stop on a page and it'll usually have a symbol um, and some information about it um, so it it's like a book oracle so that's what I want to do for us today so I'm just putting the intention in and just like with the cards for this week even though it's general it's meant for um, the good of all and uh, hopefully somebody gets a healing message from it so even if not everything pertains to you take what does um, and see how it'll guide you see how it'll give you a healing message okay so just um, putting in the intention this is for a healing message for all and what does Zabu? transition so here is our symbol okay and usually um, if I'm meditating with this I'll trace the symbol you know a few times with my finger and I'll usually say what it is so it would be so kana so kana 
Sokana, and I'll do that like three or four times. Okay, so transition, also known as Sokana, which is the translation, the Zubu translation. The color is green, the gemstone is aquamarine, and the physical body is the cellular structure. Transition is not to be feared. When it is embraced and welcomed, it brings with it much wonderment. When transition or change is deflected, the doors of opportunity close. Staying in one place is not a desirous plan. It is limiting the scope of one's experiences. To fully embrace life, one can open up to changes and take delight in the gifts and blessings that appear. Step forward in certainty, knowing your life is enriched beyond your immediate knowledge with transition. Blessings from the angels. And so that is a beautiful um, message and I think it fits in perfectly with what we're doing this week. That is that. That is the reading portion of this week. So I am going to take you guys inside for the workout portion. And so we've done various things for workouts. We've done meditations because you have to have, um, you know, exercise your brain, exercise your soul and keep that in just as good a shape as your physical body. So I have done, you know, physical workouts. Hey, Gunjo. Um, so I have done physical workouts for that. Um, I've taken you guys in the kitchen for um, nutritional information. Um, I've shown you my boyfriend cooking ribs on the Traeger, which there are ribs currently cooking on the Traeger. Um, and now, so this will be a different type of workout. So I guess it's, it's kind of a mental, physical workout. All right, so stay tuned for that. Hey guys, so we're in the house now and like I said, it was gonna be a different type of workout today. So we've done all other kinds of like nutrition -y workout type stuff. So there was like brain workouts, like meditation, there was physical workouts and things like that. Um, but in, I would say in honor of my anniversary coming up uh, this week, you also have to work on your relationship. So relationships take work. You can't just uh, take a back seat to your relationship and expect it to work um, and everything's gonna turn out hunky-dory. I am standing or sitting next to my boyfriend, but he doesn't really do videos. So <laughs> earlier he mentioned that the secret to our relationship is that he cooks and I clean. So you have to have your jobs in the house. You know, you can't expect one person to do everything, you know, all the cooking and all the cleaning and all the bill playing and all the, you know, yard work and all the everything, you know, you have to do some things. So you do some things and your other person, you know, does some things or, you know, the same with friendships as well. You know, you can't do everything for the other person in a friendship. Um, otherwise, that's not really a friendship, that's slavery. So you don't really wanna do that either. So why else do you wanna hang out with me for <laughs> 10 years? Well, technically it's 16, cause we're <laughs> friends for like six years first and then we've been dating for like 10, but. So besides you cooking and me cleaning. I got nothing. Usually he's more chatty. So we would add in communication. <laughs> we usually just talk about nothing. Nothing. <laughs> A lot of nothing, but that's more than nothing. <laughs> it's more than saying nothing. Um, instead of, you know, just, you know, two people acting like ghosts in the house, you know, and never really acknowledging each other. It's kind of like two really estranged roommates and you don't want that to ever happen because I've had that before. That sucked. So no, I'm much happier where I am now. And we even gave birth to a little puma. Wally. This is my fur baby. I gave birth to him. <laughs> He's a puma. The doctors were quite startled, um, you know, when, when he came out and then we wrapped him up in a little blankie and he had one of those little baby caps on his head, you know, keep his little, or his gigantic ears warm and, um, um, and he was a perito. There he is. That's our baby. Yeah. You probably see him in other videos and all over my deck reviews and things like that. That's kind of what I wanted to share with you guys is to work on your relationships. You know, don't forget to hang out, go do stuff together. You know, don't always just 
um, hang out separately with the girls or the guys or whatever it is, you know, there's time for that, but don't make that 100% of what you guys do. Um, you know, make sure that you hang out and talk about stuff, even if it's about nothing. Um, and make sure you have a compromise of your jobs in the house um, so that people don't start bickering and things like that. And if you do get upset about things, make sure you talk about it. Just don't, you know, talk to your friends about it and then not the other person because then they don't know what's going on. So anywho, um, that's all. Anything else? In one word, uh, the answer is balance. Balance. And if you're wondering what my dude looks like, if you've ever seen Top Gun and Val Kilmer before he got fat, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Back when Val Kilmer was hot. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys back outside. See ya. And we're back. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, and that's kind of in honor of my anniversary and um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'm looking forward to this week myself and I wish you lots of love and light, light and if you would like to hook up a reading with me don't forget to check out the information box below and let me know what you guys thought or what you guys are thinking of all the stuff I've been adding in between um, all the readings and the crystal readings and the zippu readings and you know things like that so just let me know in the comment section below um, and don't forget to give this a thumbs up click subscribe and I will catch you all later all right peace love and chicken grease peace out